Today is October 8, 2021, and we are all here again to listen the Word of God from our speaker. Okay, so before we start, Paul, can you please comment down your nickname and your grade, and uh, that comment will serve as your attendance. You check, check po yun ang bawat advisor, and they'll record it, okay? And can you please take note, Paul, watch the whole video because at the end of this video, we have our quiz. And uh, sagutan po yung quiz, send po sa teacher. And then your teacher will uh, check it and record it. Yad po nila ito sa score ninyo on your Bible subject. Okay. okay, so let's start with an action song. Sumunod po tayo sa action songs so that may ready po natin yung sarili natin sa pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. Okay, so taong bahay kids. Thank you. 
Bahay Kids for the action song. Now, let's proceed to our list of prayer requests na share po ngayon ni Annika Aaron Rapadas, Grade 3, Pupil. The Bible says, Mark 11, verse 24. Therefore, I say unto you, Whatsoever desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them. Good morning, schoolmates, teachers, parents, and pastor. Today, let us talk about the list of our prayer requests this week. First on the list is our, our pastors and missionaries. May we pray for them who are preaching the word of God all over the world. Second is our frontliners, special medical health workers, at ang mga sundalo at police, because they are at risk. Kaya ipag-pray natin sila. Third is our leaders, as may the Lord give them wisdom and knowledge to lead. Fourth is wisdom and knowledge para sa ating mga teachers sa pagtuturo and PBS pupils sa pag-aaral. Fifth is provision. Provision ni hey God para sa ating, ating pangangailangan every day. Sixth, next on our list is protection. May the Lord Lord God, protect us every day, everywhere we go. Seventh is our unsaved loved ones and, the, and lost souls. Ipag-pray pa natin na naway makilala nila na si Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Ninth is healing for, for the sick. Ipag-pray pa natin na naway gumaling na po ang mga, um, mga may sakit at gumaling na po ang mga may karamdaman. Lalong lalo na, na po ang mga COVID victims. Lastly is good internet connection para maging maayos at maganda ang bawat klase. Yun lamang po. Thank you so much, Anika. Yan, don't forget po na isama po natin sa prayer natin yung list po na shinir ni Anika. Now, let us hear the special number of Majesty Manawis, a grade 3 pupil. <laughs> Welcome sa ating chapel hour service. Tayo manalangin. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, sa harap po ito na pinagkailob niya. Thank you once again for another life, Panginoon, na yung pinagkailob. And also, Lord, bless nyo rin po kami sa pakikinig po namin ng salita. This chapel hour, Panginoon, at now ay gamitin nyo mightily ang aming speaker, Panginoon, na magsasalita. Bless nyo po ang lahat, Panginoon, lalala ng mga mga sudyante, Panginoon, at tamuin ni Baptist School. At naway Panginoon ay pagpalaan niyo po kami sa araw-araw na may gawin. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Now, let us hear the message from God's Word na share po ng ating missionary na si Missionary James from Kenya, Africa. Maganda umaga sa inyo lahat. Tumawin ni Baptist, uh, Pastor uh, Pagurigan, Dennis, and uh, Ma'am Merita. Thank you for this privilege that you have given to me. Ako si Missionary James from Kenya. And uh, as you have told me that this is uh, uh, your first quarter and uh, you have a, a mission emphasis. I've been looking to the Word of God and uh, we found in uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 15, the blessing in giving. Matthew 6 verse 1 to 16 and uh, we're going to read. Um, Take heed that you do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine arm, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the street, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their rewards. But when thou doest them, let not thy left hand know what the right hand doeth, that thine arm may be in secret, and the fa thy father which seal in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as hypocrite are, for they love to pray studying in the synagogue and in the corners of the street, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. And that's the word of God. <clears throat> I was looking on this message, and uh, the title of the message is Blessing in Giving. And uh, when it comes to mission now, uh, what is mission? Mission is love of God towards men. Love of God towards men. And when I say love of God towards men, especially uh, love of God towards Ross soul, that's uh, a bit uh, clear what mission is. You know, uh, for us as Christian. We can uh, describe mission as love of a Christian toward lost soul. Now, my question to you, uh, do you have love for lost souls? So if, if, if the answer is yes, then what do you do to reach those lost souls? Now, <clears throat> people have variety motive for giving. So many people have varieties of giving. One uh, they uh, some they give because it's a duty, giving from a sense of duty, and uh, B, uh, giving from the desire, uh, giving out of desire to be acknowledged or to be praised. Now I don't know whether you give as a desire or do you give as a duty. The Bible make it clear that the Lord is a good storekeeper. As we have read that uh, God is a good storekeeper and that he is faithful to reward his own for the for the righteous, righteous conduct as we have seen in the, uh, the book of Matthew uh, 6 for that that thine arm may be in secret and thy father which sees in secret himself shall reward thee openly so our Father, or the Bible is teaching us that our Father, God now, is a good store keeper. Because when we, we give in secret, He will reward us. So <clears throat> let us uh, also consider our motive in giving. And actually, uh, the Bible here is teaching us that we control our giving, our, uh, we as an individual, I as an individual, control the blessing that our Father can give to me. How? You may ask me how. Because when we give, 
our Father who is in heaven sees in secret and he will reward me. Although we don't give because uh, we, we will be rewarded. We give because of the duty to reach more souls. Now, I have some uh, few points before. <clears throat> so, um, I have about one, two, three, four, five. Four points. My first point is start your giving by giving yourself to the Lord. Start your giving by giving yourself to the Lord. And uh, if you ask me, Mishon, how, how can I give myself to the Lord? And the Bible clearly tells us in the book of um, 2 Corinthians 8, chapter, uh, 8, chapter 8, verse 5, And this they did not as we hoped, but first gave their own self to the Lord and unto us by the will of God. This is Apostle Paul speaking to a Corinthian believer, telling them about other believers from Macedonia, how they, they were poor physically, but they were rich in giving. You know, you will ask me, how can you give if you are poor? And I have never heard a poor man dying because of giving. So, uh, Apostle Paul is, um, um, is uh, teaching the Corinthian believer about Macedonian believer, how not only did they give their own portion as money, but also they gave their uh, self to the road. Uh, for example now, he, uh, there in Tumawini, we have uh, uh, church, and it's big church. Uh, uh, you can, as a believer, you come from home and help sweeping, like sweeping, cleaning. So that's how. Probably you don't have money, but you have given yourself to the Lord by being available. So, for us as Christian, God wants us to be in the front line, be available in all things that we do in giving. We will be in the front line that no one, as a Christian, no one can uh, say that we are, we are not in the front line. So we must be in the front line. So start your giving by giving yourself to the Lord. My second point, the, uh, the sacrifice of giving. We have to be a sacrificial giver. Sacrificial giver is that you don't give because you have money but because it's a duty. And uh, we can see in the book of 2 uh, <coughs> uh, Samuel, 2 Samuel 24, 24, uh, this is uh, King, King David when he was buying a, a dress old from uh, Arauna, uh, and, and I, I'm going to read. And the king said unto Arauna, Nay, but I will surely buy it of thee at a price, neither will I offer burnt offering unto the Lord my God of that which doeth cost me nothing. So David bought the threshold and the oxen <coughs> for 50 shekel of silver. Um, we remember here story, this story that David had uh, gone against the will of God by numbering the people of Israel. And God was um, uh, was angry on David. And uh, now, it was David now to go and look for a burnt offering to the Lord. And when he went to uh, this, guy, uh, this man, Arauna, Arauna was willing to give the land freely. But David couldn't. It was, uh, he couldn't take it freely. Because it was a sacrifice that he was given, going to give to the Lord because of his mistake. But he said, I cannot take it freely. I have to pay you. And we remember actually this uh, threshold. Uh, the land which uh, David uh, bought is the same place where the first temple was built. So you see, um, the, the sacrifice that Dave, David uh, did has also an impact 
in uh, the the world we are living today because we remember we we have we have we, are, we already know now, now that the temple was built on this sacrificial rod which was bought by king david and <clears throat> because of the time you can also look on first peter 4 10 mark 12 41 and 44 my first point was start your giving by giving yourself to the lord second point the, the sacrifice of giving uh, <clears> that <throat> point the standard and situation of giving god look at the portion of our giving the standard and situation of our giving god looks at the portion of our giving in the book of rook rook chapter 6 uh, 16 10 the book of rook 16 10 says this 16 10 mm -hmm. he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much and he has he that is just in the least he is just also in much the bible is uh, teaching us that even though you are poor, if you cannot be entrusted by the Lord with a small coin you have in, a, in your pocket, the Lord cannot entrust you when you get more. So, as Christian, we ought to grow uh, gradually. We ought to grow every step of life, every day, every day is a growth of a Christian. So, uh, the, the, the Bible is teaching us that that. If you cannot be entrusted with small amount of money that you have in your pocket, then it will be very hard for you or for the Lord to entrust you with much. So even the small amount you have, give. Give. Don't be give because you know someone, but give out of the duty. Don't give of desire to be seen or to be praised, but because that's uh, when it comes to mission, it's the love of the uh, lost souls. So my uh, my fourth point is the source, the source, the source of the source and sowing of our giving. We are to give from our heart. The source and sowing of our giving. We are, we are to give from our heart. First point was start you are giving by giving yourself to the Lord. Second, the sacrifice of giving, the standard and the situation. And now our fourth and last point is that the source and show, uh, sowing of giving, we are to give from our heart. When do we give? Do we give from our heart? Or do we give because we have? So uh, the Bible is teaching us in the book of Second Corinthians 9, 6. To give from our heart. Second Corinthians chapter nine verse six. Let's read nine verse six. It says this, but this I say: He which soweth sp sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he that which so as bond free shall reap also bond free. So the giving of uh, uh, the, the, the source and sowing of our giving, we are to give from our heart. Thank you very much for uh, giving this privilege, uh, Pastor Dennis and uh, uh, the church there in Tumawini. I'm happy that you are going to be a, a, a blessing and i have and also that i have been a blessing to you thank you and god bless you tayo manalangin let's pray our gracious heavenly father maraming salamat po panginoon sa mensahe yung pinagkalo panginoon maraming salamat po sa time again na kami nakipag uh, nakaaral na yung salita panginoon at naway 
Pagpalain niyo po kami sa aming mga napakinggan, Panginoon, at sa naway matutunan po namin ang lesson, Panginoon, ng, ng aming napag-aralan, Panginoon. Bless you po kami, bless you rin po ang missionary, Panginoon, na ginamit niyo, at naway, Panginoon, mas lalo niyo po siyang gamitin sa inyong ministry. Thank you, Lord. Bless our families and bless each student of Tumawini Baptist School. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.